Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're asking the question that you never knew you needed answering. Who makes the best chocolate covered pretzel? That's right, today I'm putting two chocolate covered pretzel products head to head. They're kind of different, but kind of the same in essence. We have arguably the original chocolate covered pretzel from Flips in their milk chocolate variety and the newcomer, the new pretender, although possibly the higher quality offering Tony's Chocolate Only is their dark milk chocolate pretzel in a bar form, which based on the other Tony's Chocolate Only products I've tested on the channel so far, I am incredibly excited about. Just before we break into them, let's have a read of the packets. Quick look at the pack for you there. I'm fairly confident you'll know what these look like. They are pretty much everywhere. It says Flips Milk Chocolate Coated Pretzels. On the back it says Flipping Awesome, great fun. Whenever hunger strikes, make sure you've got the Flips nearby. Flips are the most flipping awesome snack ever. Sensing a theme. That's because they combine crunchy, salty pretzels with smooth, sweet, creamy chocolate for an outrageous anytime snack. Anytime is the right time for a flipping awesome snack, apparently. Um, I'm ripping them a bit for that cheesy spiel, but ultimately, I really adore these. So, um, you know, that's, that's fine. I just noticed they have malt extract in the um, description, which is probably the reason I like them so much, to be honest. I'm a big malt beer fan, malt anything fan, so... And there's not a great deal of other information on the packet, truth be told, so we'll leave those there. On to Tony's Chocolate Only. Very familiar package design if you've seen the other videos I did with them. It says, crazy about chocolate, serious about people. Hello there, I'm Tony's Chocolate Only. I exist to end slavery in the chocolate industry. My mission is to make 100% slave free the norm in chocolate. Together with you, together we'll make all the chocolate 100% slave free. Are you in? Read the inside of this wrapper. There's always something pretty interesting on the inside of the wrappers on Tony's bars. Um, other than that, it just says, dark milk pretzel. Oh, and toffee. I hadn't spotted that before. That could be a game changer. Other than that, there's just ingredients made in Belgium. I hadn't caught that on the other one, so Belgian chocolate. Even more exciting. I'm going to break into the flips first because I kind of know what we're getting with them. In the bag. They don't, they never smell that great. They're not, they don't smell bad, they're just a bit, the bag's a bit plasticky, I think is the issue. All right, I don't think these are gonna show particularly well on camera, but actually the chocolate there is pretty dark. You probably, uh, it's probably not that different to the Tony's in terms of shade, I would imagine, given that's a darker milk. Mm. I'll never know how they got these so good. I never really gave it much thought before, but the milk chocolate on these is actually pretty dark. I guess because of the saltiness of the pretzel, it balances out. Mmm, mm. they're so good. We know they're so good. But can they be beaten? Let's take a look at the Tony's chocolate only. We've torn the wrapper on this one a bit, unfortunately. On the inside of the wrapper, it wants to, it's the same as the last wrapper we opened. It says, right now there is slavery on cocoa farms in West Africa. This is a result of the unequally divided cocoa chain. Tony's Chocolate only exists to change that. Yep, they're all about ending slavery and bad things in the production of chocolate, basically, which they can only be handed for. So, on with their products to emphasize that the uh, chocolate industry is currently not fair. The bars come, if you can see that, unevenly divided as a result. Right. Let's. Let's break some off. Oh, that's broke. Pretty much halfway, ironically. This is looking a lot darker than their other stuff, probably unsurprisingly. I'm going to keep hold of the wrapper for now so it doesn't melt to my hands, but I should give you a good idea. You can see the pretzels in the end and underneath. Right. This instantly smells much more like real chocolate. There's none of that plasticiness that you get with the flips. Can't smell anything other than quite dark chocolate though, so let's give this a whirl. Wow. That is a masterpiece. Okay, so the chocolate is a lot stronger in this. Even though they both look pretty dark, this is much more cocoa heavy. I was worried that in bar form, this you wouldn't get kind of enough pretzel in every bite. It must be chocolate with bits of pretzels in it, but there really is a lot of pretzel going on in here. It's pre-broken up, but it's not really an issue. The toffee that it claims on here, on the, on the packaging, it's definitely in there. I can see it in the, right in the top. I don't think you'll be able to see that, but um, 
Initially, I didn't think it was noticeable because the cocoa content was initially a bit of a shock compared to how sweet these are. But actually, no, that is the the toffee component just kind of rounds it out at the end, stops the kind of bitter aftertaste of darker chocolate. Even though it's not dark chocolate, it's still more bitter than kind of a an original milk chocolate. I'll go back to back test now. Okay, so the thing that's instantly noticeable is going back to these. These start to taste really synthetic. The chocolate's not very satisfying on them. The pretzel itself is good and crisp and possibly a bit saltier, which is nice, but the chocolate's just so bad. I do think in the flicks you get a better pretzel to chocolate ratio. They are significantly more pretzel than they are chocolate. It's the other way around in the Tony's. Obviously that's gonna be the case because it is a bar, but I would really love Tony's to bring out an equivalent of this, which is just small pretzels coated in their chocolate. Whether that is this darker chocolate or even their milk, to be honest. I do like darker milk chocolate, and this is really nice. I'm not sure if it necessarily goes as well with pretzels, because the whole thing about pretzels and chocolate is it's that salty, super savoury pretzel with the super sweet chocolate, and that just works together. This is savoury pretzel with some richer, slightly bitter milk chocolate, and that's, I'm not sure, the contrast isn't quite as obvious, and it's part of that contrast that makes me like them so much. But that is truly brilliant. Yeah, the flips just aren't there. They're nowhere near as good as the Tony's. Now, we, I think we all knew the Tony's chocolate was going to be better, but, I mean, it's staggering how much difference there is. Well, that truly has been a revelation going forward. Flips, I love you, but you need to up your game a bit. There's a new chocolate pretzel coated king in town, and his name's Tony. That's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you enjoy this video, please like it if you haven't already. Subscribe if you will be so kind, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.